Yeah, we have the countdown. Three, two, one. Okay, Paki is already gone. <laughs> I, 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 I was slow at the countdown. <laughs> He's too fast for even the countdown. Yeah, uh, we we say that he basically has uh, taped down the the uh, down button in his controller because uh, he's going to be playing madly, and that's that's his style. Yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, John playing an amazing strategic game. Notice clearing out that top with very very little drop time and some good horizontals. So way to go, John has a very slight lead, thirteen to seventeen. Yeah, and when you can bring down your your bottle that quickly as to uh, the middle, and uh, as you say, with uh, so little uh, drop time, then uh, you're doing things greatly uh, for well, uh, and more so against Paki. Definitely. So, uh, meanwhile, Paki has a bit of a split board going on. So notice that stuff up high in seven and eight just got cleared, but still has stuff up high in one and two. And both one and two have yellow at the top, which is a little bit difficult, is causing this drop time that you see. Uh, it's a bit of drop time there, which uh, I'm sure Paki didn't really intend to have, but sometimes there's there's no other way to, to play around this. As uh, now he's going to set up there for the for blues as Flynn this out at 121. Yeah, really nice start for Flindo. You want to get out of ahead of Packy, and he's already making moves to do so. I think he's setting up for those reds horizontally, but since they're already stacked vertically, he might want to change his mind on that. Don't know yet. We'll see what he does. As Packy into level seven at about a 139, 140. Yeah, about, about, about with that. Uh, <laughs> as uh, Flynn's going to get this double blue, he's going to use for that sweet tea. Sweetie. There we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, really nice tuck play from <laughs> Packy in columns one and two. And uh, Severlasting Love, you do recognize Packy from the Tetris community for sure. Indeed. Uh, Packy plays a lot of NES games and he does it with high proficiency. So you, you might know him from several uh, communities. Definitely. And Packy has just pulled ahead a little bit. Um, so it's now uh, 11 to 12, so very, very small lead there. And look at this nice fat log from John Flindo. There we go, and he's surely happy as he is now making honor to that shirt. <laughs> Board... right, so... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go... Yep, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, now I was just going to say that Lindo is uh, having to make some talks there on the right side as everything is just on that corner. Right, and all he needs is one blue. Meanwhile, Packy into level eight. Uh, looks like with the blue dropping horizontally, he will be able to make a nice combo here. Does it? Two horizontals. Very nice foresight from Packy. Yeah, although now his board is uh, very yellow, and uh, yeah, a double yellow would be the best there, but he's going to make there a little bit of a traffic light in column three, which, yeah, is going to require just taking one one half at a time. Mm -hmm. And John Daflindo, uh, about two viruses behind. This is an opportunity to catch up, although Packy's done a great job with this garbage. Uh, John Daflindo needs a lot of blue and doesn't need much yellow. So he's going to probably be using yellow strategically um, to work with other colors. And on the other hand, uh, Paki basically needs a lot of yellow because uh, all of his columns except one have a yellow on top. So yeah, he's, he's trying to, to get some of it and, uh, bring in, and, and bringing out some other colors, but uh, the red is uh, basically hiding at this point. Yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, uh, Flindo making some good moves. Notice that dropping the garbage down to get some stuff on top of the blue in column one. Uh, stuff is still a little bit higher than I would like to see, but notice this great horizontal built up to that and um, has his choice whether to go horizontal or vertical with that blue. So nice combo down there. Some red yellow would be really helpful in column seven and eight for John. And Packy made an interesting choice there with uh, the blue. He already had it uh, has it set up there, and yeah, he's going to have to create his own double blue, uh, as he could have cleared it uh, earlier. He had some some doubles, uh, some double blues, and he just passed on them. Uh, perhaps it's one of those uh, instances where you have tunnel vision. John out at a four forty nine. Speaking of. Uh... 
choice is made, uh, sort of passed on a pill to get the right pill next. Looking at that next box, really important. And uh, he's off to the races. So it is tied, though. So this is going to be a really great uh, race to the finish. Indeed, and there uh, Flinda with uh, almost a T. Unfortunately, there was uh, one blue lacking on column two, but uh, nonetheless, he has set it up uh, over there. Uh, he now doesn't have a yellow on the on the lookout, and unfortunately, Dr. Mar is giving him a lot of yellow. Yeah. And <clears throat> meanwhile, uh, Packy is, is working on this top. He did have a lot of blue up there and had... A really nice yellow cross there, um, but really he's just going to be working around the blue. Notice he has a really nice tuck combo there. I think if he gets one double blue, he's going to have this really nice T in the center, uh, but he's going to have to drop down to make it instead. And speaking of uh, playing around the blue, uh, Flindo is doing that given that he's not getting any blue whatsoever and uh, he's uh, reaching about the point where he cannot do anything else but wait for Dr. Mario to give him the pill. Exactly, but really nice tuck play from him in terms of uh, planning ahead and, and it has given Packy an opportunity to really run with this. Just needs a couple of blues. Um, a double blue would be really great for him. Again, I keep calling that. And he gets it. Woo! So it just needs two more yellows and he'll be out. Yes, Linda's still in the same situation, unfortunately, with uh, not a lot of blue help. And, uh, oh, the talk is not happening there. Uh, apparently, gravity is, uh, is too high or he's just... Uh, Perhaps uh, flipping too early, which uh, will stun you and it won't let you uh, even try to flip it again. So perhaps that, that's what was happening. But he's going to manage to get to that combo. And he realizes that uh, Paki has already finished. So he's going to top out. Yeah, and that was an outstanding play from from John uh, through the first couple of levels, uh, really rolling with it. But, you know, he just got the wrong stuff for too long, and you have to make these choices, and they, they end up hurting you in the end. I'd say that uh, that level 9 was lacking a lot of blue, and uh, you sometimes wonder how that was that was programmed, but uh, who knows what the decisions were uh, or how they, they, they planned for those levels to go, so that, that's the order of pills. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and we have readies from both players. One more game, Packy takes it. Our countdown in 3, 2, 1, pills. Right, as we have uh, Paki, he has those uh, horizontals there in the left. He's probably waiting for a double blue, which would be the best, but uh, that's going to mean him, oh, yeah, uh, having to take it down eventually. And of course, it, uh, he takes it down just one pill too early as it was just uh, coming around. Mm -hmm. So m making those decisions and that prioritization you you don't when you don't know what's coming it, it's pretty tough i think he's going to be waiting for those blues and yellows for a while at the top meanwhile I, look at john he's already out of yellow um so he's going to have this nice co combo down the center with the blue and red and i would just love to see a lot of blue and red for him right now yeah it seems like uh, level 9 is ringing its ugly head again the, the, that level 9 he had uh, earlier but uh... Yeah, it's just uh, those two reds uh, on the on the corner. You might be able to even take them out together. So it's just a matter of when the blue is going to come. Right, and we got a little bit of a burst from it. Uh, meanwhile, Packy decided to take both of those uh, yellows out uh, horizontally. So he does this with a nice tuck. But notice the bottom left-hand side of his board is uh, pretty locked up. So he's going to need a lot of red-yellow to handle that. As Linda, now he's going to get that blue red and he's going to be out with a combo at a 132. Um, he had even the time to take those two reds uh, I was talking about earlier one by one because the blues weren't coming that quickly. Mm -hmm, definitely. So Packy has a nice combo here, drops down the blue, but notice he's still got stuff in the way of yellow. Um, and so manages to drop it down. Notice this blue will clear the garbage and just needs a couple of blues. But notice he is not happy. He does not like to be in the two-minute range for level six. 
Yeah, definitely. And that was a product of uh, earlier having to put the pill somewhere uh, while waiting for the double blue on the top. So uh, unfortunately, uh, very early decisions came to, to, to bite him. So yeah, it's something that happens uh, from time to time. And unfortunately, in this uh, in this format, you have to continue playing. Otherwise, uh, yeah, and there's, there's no resets as you would usually in, in a speedrun. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, you can. It's just not a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically a forfeit, uh, or uh, rather, you would have to start uh, over that level. So from from level uh, six. So yeah, I don't think anyone would go for that. Mm -hmm. So John is off to a really great start on this level. Actually, I mean, I don't even mean start. I mean end. Um, he only has two viruses, and look at this. He's done with no drop time at the top, out at three minutes. Great pace for John. Yeah, that's about the pace that you want to see on average when the when the game is going well. And I mean, after that, uh, level six, which was uh, being a little obnoxious, uh, I think that John made a great job there on level seven. And Packy has a nice end game set up. Uh, notice he has the opportunity to do both the blue in row two and the blue in row one horizontally and has opportunities to take the red out horizontally. So really nice end game from Packy. Good planning out of the 334. So it's a 10 uh, or 11 virus deficit right now. One thing we know about Packy is he really does not like to be behind. And I think we're going to see uh, what happens when he is, what he turns on. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, on the other hand, the Flint there with uh, a bit of a misdrop, as you could see there on columns two and three, he manages to clear it out. Uh, he wanted to tuck it in, uh, well, there where he just put that uh, blue-yellow, uh, because he wanted to go for for a, some horizontal, but uh, yeah, uh, well, he, he's now in the clear for that. Unfortunately, he has uh, three reds on, on his edge, and... Uh, that means he needs uh, specific pills. Perhaps that red yellow could have helped, uh, although it would have meant a little bit of drop time. He is really dedicated to clearing these things out from underneath, but it might have been a little bit faster to just grin and bear it and go from the side. So let's see him do that. And he is going to work on that. These red yellow is really going to help him. But Packy's already tied him. As you said, uh, he's going to bring it back, and Packy is just turning, uh, turning his uh, pushing down to eleven. <laughs> definitely, definitely, and he's out at a four fifty two with an incredibly clean board. Yeah, that's one of those things that uh, Packy can do. Just uh, go see a board, and uh, he magically just makes it uh, disappear, and. Uh, Speaking of that, he's already doing a great job on this level uh, nine. It was looking a bit uh, weirder with some garbage, but he manages to keep a very clean board at this point. Really no garbage at all. Yeah, definitely. And John out at about a 510. And so it looks like he's setting up hard for this yellow in the center, um, and uh, but is not is not going to take both yellows, but it gets one of them to clear out uh, the center and expose some more stuff. And they're uh, with a lot of yellow there on the on the left side. Um, not an easy an easy clear there to deal with all of that. Uh, that double, yeah, he's going to take those uh, those pairs and uh, avoid any drop time. Yeah, and oh, look at this really nice fat log from John. In the center of that board looks real good. Yeah, some here in the community, when they see a fat log, they kind of let it uh, let it sleep, and they have to go for it. As we now see, Paki is going to wait for two blues, and he's going to talk them uh, on the right side. Uh, he prioritizes well, and uh, he gets the red afterwards, and he's out at a six twenty seven. Yeah. So so there is that that trademark pack aggression when he senses he's behind he really really turns it on and you saw him just rip through those levels really great play and john not too far behind also on sub seven pace which is awesome but just needs that last yellow out of the 647 okay so ggs to both of them unfortunately we know that pack is uh is a difficult one to take uh to take out it's possible but uh, yeah you need 
everything to line up and uh, well it didn't happen this time but uh, I i'm sure flynn though still uh happy to have given a good uh, a good showing of uh, dr mario